So let's do. Let's make the formula for moving source, right? Let's have. Um, let's talk about what these things are, right? We've got uh, uh, the speed of sound, right? So this will be a shifted frequency. That'll be the actual frequency. This will be the unshifted wavelength. Uh, the speed of the source, the, the speed of, of the actual sound. This is like 343 or something like that, right? Okay, so just let's just draw a picture here, right? Here's a wavelength, and, and these are the ordinary wavelengths, right? But let's suppose that the source actually moves some distance here, right? Of course, the source is going to move some amount, right? So the shifted wavelength here, right, this wavelength right here, is shorter by this distance right there, whatever that distance is. And that distance there is going to be the speed of the source, right, times the period, the time it takes to between making one wave and making the next wave, right? And so the shifted wavelength is going to be um, the actual wavelength, right? This wavelength here is, um, is the unshifted wavelength, right? So that's going to be... Um, what the speed of sound times the period, right? Okay, minus uh, the source frequency times the period, right? Okay, and then uh, we can rewrite that as we can actually rewrite that because one over the period is the frequency, right? So we can rewrite this as um, v minus uh, u s, right? Divided by the frequency is what I'm going to do. Right, because because remember that frequency is one over period, right? Okay, and then of course the the frequency is going to be frequency is uh, velocity over wavelength. I'm using the formula v is f lambda, right? So therefore frequency would be uh, what v over lambda, right? So the shifted frequency would be that over the shifted wavelength, right? So um, that's going to be uh, the speed of sound divided by this thing, right? So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of this. So I'm going to go v times f over uh, v minus u s right and there's that's our formula right there okay that the the shifted frequency is uh, the original frequency times v over v minus the the speed of the source okay if i hit this thing and erase all those things there it is that's what it looks like in the data packet the s there goes with source right it's not the speed of sound this is our 343 or you know whatever it is whatever the speed of sound is here's our um, original frequency right here's our shifted frequency the new frequency is the f prime okay and then then the question is what you know why is it plus or minus well to make it a higher frequency you make it a minus right so the minus is in this case uh, what is that i guess approaching right right and then the the plus is for receding now you're never going to remember that you're never going to remember that in this case, because for the other formula, by the way, it's the other way, right? Okay. What you are going to remember, though, is that if it's approaching, if they're getting closer, right? If they're getting closer, closer is higher frequency, right? And, and farther is lower frequency, okay? That's what you're going to remember is when the race car is coming toward you, you hear the higher frequency. As it goes away, you hear a lower frequency. Now, if you can't, if mathematically you can't wrap your mind around which one to use to make the higher or lower frequency, calculate both possible frequencies and reject the one that doesn't make sense, okay? So that's, that's the moving source formula, um, and that's how to use it, okay?